Hi, I'm Paul Moravec. I am university professor at Adelphi University. I'm a composer in the music department. I've written about 200 compositions, and in 2004, I was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for a chamber work called Tempest Fantasy that's based on William Shakespeare's The Tempest. I'm a composer, and I write for myself really as an audience member. In other words, I, I'm not trying to impress myself as a composer, I'm trying to impress myself as an audience member. So I try to write something and I imagine myself getting a ticket, going into the concert hall, sitting down and saying, okay, amaze me, surprise me, astound me. I've written four operas. The biggest and the most successful of them is called The Shining, and it's based on Stephen King's iconic novel. Opera is about three things. It's about love, death, and power. And of course, Stephen King's story has all three of those elements on steroids. The difference between an oratorio and an opera is that oratorios are unstaged. They're performed in concert. You don't need all the bells and whistles of costumes and sets and so on. And the story is told entirely through the words and the music. And a big aspect of oratorio is the role of the chorus. The whole challenge in writing an oratorio, an opera, a song cycle, anything, setting anything to music is what gives rise to song? Why are people singing? And in my experience, it's powerful emotion. Sanctuary Road began as a project that I wrote for the Oratorio Society of New York. So my librettist, Mark Campbell, adapted stories from the Underground Railroad. And what he gave me was a text that sings. And he had the inspired idea to focus on one particular individual, that is William Still, who was the head of what was called the Vigilance Committee of the Anti-Slavery Society in Philadelphia. He was an abolitionist. He was a black man, born a free man. So he had the advantage of an education. He's he very literate, very good writer. What he did in his activities throughout the history of the Underground Railroad, he facilitated the escapes of some at least 800 fugitive slaves who came to him through his office in Philadelphia and heading north to Canada. And that's the source that we used for this oratorio. What I'm doing with Sanctuary Road is I'm taking the original oratorio format that is unstaged and staging it. But what we're adding is new materials that take it out of the realm of oratorio and place it into the realm of opera. Sanctuary Road is the second in a series of American historical oratorios, the first of which is called Blizzard Voices, and it's about the children's blizzard of 1888 that devastated the Great Plains. The third of my historical oratorios is about Ellis Island. It's basically a day in the life of Ellis Island in 1921, so exactly 100 years ago. And it tells the stories of immigrants coming from all over the world through Ellis Island, and many of them are based on actual historical texts. And one could say that the Ellis Island oratorio is connected to Sanctuary Road in that it's about people seeking freedom, very often escaping from appalling, unbearable conditions and finding freedom and a new life. Much to my delight, the recording of Sanctuary Road was nominated for a 2021 Grammy Award. And the important thing in Grammy land is the nomination itself. It's an extremely crowded field. So simply to be nominated is actually 90% of the achievement in a way. So I'm, I'm thrilled that the work was not lost in the shuffle. <laughs> One of the great things about Adelphi is that it supports its faculty in its research. In my case, it's creativity. And I'm eternally indebted to Adelphi for facilitating all of the work that I've done in the 25 years that I've been here at Adelphi. <laughs>